Hi, this is an Excel VBA currency conversion system. So how does it work? If I click on this big button right there, there, it's very similar to the previous one in Visual Basic. But uh, the difference is this one is developed using VBA. So if I click on the combo box, select any of these any of the country just enter whatever amount you want to convert from British pound sterling to Philippines money click on that and that's what you get you can click on that to uh, to reset or you can just select any country you want enter whatever you want to convert there okay, if you don't select anything you get this message you can also exit so what I'll do now is to take you guys straight into Excel development environment and show you how to put this together. Okay, let's close that. We we'll start by going to Excel. That's Excel right there. Make sure you have your developer tab. If you don't have your developer tab, just come up here, select option. Okay, just go straight into customize ribbon and that's your developer tab there. Make sure it's checked okay you then click on ok and now that's, that's all there is to it select visual basic and you then go straight into use a form select the form that's my form right there i will now define my form of approximately that size and then just add the following component onto my form there these are the component that i'll be using for my form the next thing I'll do now is to double click on this very form. Just double click and enter the following lines of codes. So first thing first we need to find out the name of this very component right there. That's the name of that very component. So all you just need to do is double click on it. Where it says form click, change that to form initialize. So when that form initialized, I want it to add the following add item so USA. Okay, which means when I run this very project now and click on that you see USA there. So what I'll do next is just maybe let's add combo currency dot text in this case. I want the text to be let's go for choose one okay so if i run it that would be my default text so let's come in here oh that's an error sorry that's supposed to be equals take that off that'll be an equal sign sorry about that okay if i run it now we can get that sign we can get the usa in there all right so let's just double click and speed that up so that's the rest of the code that goes in there now that we have uh, the rest of the code that go in there so if i choose to run it now that's what you guys will get okay but nothing can happen here yet because we've not coded the the rest of the buttons so let's double click on the form itself and scroll up right there we need to declare some variables option explicit and enter the following variables so those are the countries variables that i'll be using then the next thing is to assign the currency exchange rate to all of these variables which i will then put that on this very button right there double click on that and then enter the following variables right here the British pound sterling as double the British pound sterling is then assigned this is it right here is then assigned whatever content or whatever data you enter into the text box so maybe I should just put that up here there and below are the various currency exchange rate compared to the British pound sterling right there. You get all of this information on Google currency exchange rate there. That's where I got all this information from. Okay, that's now taken care of. 
okay the next thing is for me to enter the following lines of codes right in there those are the lines of codes that I'll be using for my currency exchange rate so let's take you from the top using if statement take it back right here if inside the combo box if uh, you select Nigeria and that means whatever that is inside here that is assigned to British pound sterling is multiplied by the current currency exchange rate and is then converted straight into the sign I think Nigerian one is Naira so let's put an N there okay and the same thing is repeated for that of Kenya right there now USA that one is simple is dollar sign Canadian I think Canadian is uh, Canadian dollar then followed by Brazil I don't know if it's uh, B R L or but uh, maybe I should just set it for B R A Brazil then India oh sorry this is India right here and uh, that's Philippines you come right down here that is uh, Indonesia and here that's just the default if you don't select this this is what you get so let's just give the give it a try and see how it works select any of those country and enter how much you want to convert there is converted but these two are not doing anything yet there's something I want to do I just need to enter um, the command button just to cover it up so I have a command button there that command button I will then change the name to Excel VBA currency currency conversion systems there let's change the font size to something a little bit readable or something larger very large actually okay let's come to bold 72 and bring this down and change that to wrap wall wrap make that true there okay so if I and decide to enlarge it this is how I want my system to look like let's take this down as well take it right down there or maybe somewhere here let's move these ones up a little bit more let's move them up okay and bring this down just take it down there okay just something about that all right so what is left for me to do now is uh, let's go for this property right there and just change the color change the color of that very button to something yeah that was the previous color and that's it so then double click on this and write a code so that'll be command button five when it's clicked on that visible equals force there and the same thing is going to be repeated for the following button I think that should be command button I don't really know what okay, that's for let's see which other command button is that okay stop being lazy let's go back in there move this one away it out of the way yeah there it is double click on that that's command button 2 command button 2 dot no sorry that's force make that true in that case then we also need the text box these guys here the label we need the label to be force clear whatever content is inside the label and whatever content is inside the text box we want that cleared as well is that there clear that 
why we also want the combo box and it default to and it default to choose one item okay there so that's taken care of the other one is the reset button let's copy all of this no just copy from here to here let's look for the reset button the reset is somewhere here there it is double click on that and just paste that in there that will reset and default everything the way you want okay now come back in here and get this get it in position or align it where it's meant to be and i suppose that'll be all so if i run the program now click on this there bring it back click on that that goes and try out whatever conversion rate you want reset there Brazilian working as expected let's change it to maybe USA or whatever change that's it and that's how you develop your own Excel VBA currency conversion system but I'll just call it bye for now